Australia Pacific LNG for Langer Ort consisted of six separate GPFs spread across the Queensland countryside from the, the furthermost eastern site called Arana to the further westernmost site called Reedy Creek be around 300 kilometres. So for us, a lot of challenges in terms of logistics and being able to run six sites concurrently. The project was uh, Langer Orc's major in introduction into the oil and gas field where we started with uh, multiple gas compression stations. We had off-site HV switchyards uh, and we also had all the accommodation to go with it which included six accommodation villages uh, and over that it ran for the duration of about three years. There was a lot of communication between sites, particularly at uh, the higher level. Um, so the engineers were talking all the time between sites and gathering lessons learnt and communicating on RFIs, um, technical queries and that sort of thing. Um, but also the boys were uh, progressing between sites, so we'd often take leading hands from one site to the other and, and teach the boys what they'd installed at previous sites. So it was, it was good lessons learnt from top level through to the bottom. One of the big challenges we had was to mobilise a team quickly and efficiently with the right skills to be able to hit the ground running and deliver the project efficiently and effectively. The, the construction process at peak would have included 350 Langerock staff and around 1,500 direct labour. Building teamwork and behaviours and culture is, is always a challenge, but when you're trying to install similar cultures and values across discrete areas, you have to work that bit harder around communication and really live the behaviours yourself. And I'm, I'm really pleased that, that our team were able to stand up and do that so effectively. FIFO life for any construction industry is always a challenge. Uh, in this case it was four to seven hours travel uh, at the start and finish of every roster to get to work. So you have to be respectful of the challenges that that brings to, to people and their families and look after them. You do have a, an extra responsibility that, that doesn't always present itself because fly-in, fly-out projects are just that little bit more challenging. In the camp we give people a home away from home as best as we can. So outside of work we have numerous recreational facilities to try and take their minds off uh, being away from home. I think the cultures at all the, all the sites were fairly good. Uh, basically the guys down to the floor level and the resources and staff, everyone felt part of the team, uh, everyone got involved, everyone was willing to have a go. The Langer Ork were a resident in the local community for, for nearly three years and that's a responsibility that we took very seriously. We, uh, we supported numerous charities, we got involved in many events, we made really great relationships there. A group of people, uh, both staff and wages, decided to start the Dogwood Charity Group that managed to raise in excess of $250,000 between all the workforce and they used that money and spread it to multiple areas. I'm really proud in, of that achievement and every time I see uh, pictures of the guys standing up and handing over cheques. It really does show that we took our, our community role very seriously. With innovations on this project, it initially started as a design by the client uh, and then as we progressed through the timeline of the project we became uh, more integrated with the client and we got opportunities, especially for our last GPF known as Combabula, to introduce um, smarts and design. What we were able to do as an organisation is bring our own lessons learned to the party, particularly in the civil works. We were able to look at the design, look at the way the, the project was being constructed and change several of the methodologies and actually ultimately alter the permanent design and make it simpler to construct. Uh, I think the overall success of the project got better as, as we progressed through all the, each of the sites. Um, I remember there were quite a few challenges at Central at the start, but as we progressed through each site, uh, we got we created efficiencies and lessons learnt, um, and then wrapped up uh, a lot better. To give some sort of scale, the first train we delivered in uh, the new contract configuration was four days early. By the time we got to the last train, we were 17 weeks ahead of schedule. The success of the project, for me, is the delivery of over eight million man-hours in six remote locations in Western Queensland safely. We are one part of a massive program of works, so our dates were critically important to them and we knew that. Certainty around our delivery was important to us, important to the client team involved with us, but most importantly to their overall program, and I'm really pleased to say we met every date. There's also a, 
and environmental performance that we're really proud of. Our quality has been world class. Uh, during walkdowns, we've been averaging around one punch list item. That demonstrates a real commitment to quality. And most importantly, we've formed a relationship with the client, the work ethic, the relationship and the collaborative behaviours that have been exhibited. They've been real a pleasure to be involved in and that's, that's words that they've used, not just Langer Orc. The project gave Langer Orc a great ability to demonstrate what we can deliver in the oil and gas field. Um, so this was delivering high compression pipe work, highly complex projects at a high level of quality. Our workforce are transferable and we believe based on our success on this project we can go to other locations in Australia and worldwide and deliver similar types of projects. Yeah.